there will be six films being pitched to the audience where they'll have two prizes up for grabs. There's the $500 cash prize and also the $200 um, People's Choice Awards. So they're going to be battling out to see who wins that. Sally McGovern's my sister, so she's got a film in tonight. So come on, give us our support. This is a chance to show your talents where otherwise you wouldn't get it. So I think it's a great opportunity for young people to sort of meet other people in the industry, sort of talk about their ideas and where they're going in their lives and sort of maybe get advice. In 2008, where we selected up to 15 young people to participate in you know, script writing, um, filmmaking and being trained up with industry filmmakers such as Craig Anderson and Amin Palingi. Participants, apart from learning things and learning uh, through experience, will also get contacts, industry contacts, especially from tonight. They'll be able to meet a lot of people from the film industry in New South Wales and in Australia and even the local council uh, film. And, and so that's really important to know who those people are. I'm a development executive of the New South Wales Film and Television Office, which is the state government body that, that um, encourages, supports film throughout New South Wales. So obviously a, uh, an event like this is exactly um, what it's about. Um, I'm also a producer and a, and a writer and I've produced various films like Rabbit Proof Fence and Paperback Hero and, and other ones as well. I'll be looking at this both from a New South Wales Film and Television Office perspective and as a producer's perspective. I tried to give everyone a little something in it and I had a lot of fun making it and I am almost sure you'll learn something. This is Ultimate Guide to No Toilet Paper. The first thing you should do is look at your surroundings. You don't find answers anywhere in the toilet. I, I like your your character that you like. I the way your pitch went and and how you tied it in and everything was great. Using the prop was really nice. And um, I I wanted some visual more visual style in it actually because you had you had this great uh, opening credit the look that sort of contrasted with with the toilet and I thought. I thought there were some real opportunities there to really play with graphics, you know. I suppose I get to see what it's like to pitch, see what it's like, um, get more experience in, you know, having my films shown to people, that sort of experience, and also, you know, meet other filmmakers. Here in Western Sydney, the cultural diversity is just unbelievably amazing, and by having places like ICE that can bring all those people and thoughts and emotions and feelings together, what we end up with is a much better world. My film, The Monitor, is my first ever film I've ever made. Like Prior to this, I had pretty much never touched a video camera, so it was all really new to me. The issue that I focused on was public safety. What's your name? Lazar. Okay, now what's your comment? Awesome. Awesome, Thank he you. said awesome. <laughs> the film is narrative of what I went through and what some of the people have gone through that I've talked to. So I wanted to, this film to be a voice of those people who can't really express themselves. My name is Moses. I can't tell you how much I just loved that film. I just thought it was beautiful. And, you know, a, a great script can just outshine production value. It doesn't matter. Often, in, 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 especially in a short film, is that you, you're looking for something that just goes, yeah, yeah, okay. I understand that. This person's taught me something, or they showed me something, or made me feel something. So you did that. Thanks. And that was the strength of it, I think, the, the, the fact that you didn't overplay it. It was something simple. So really well done. Thank you. The, the People's Choice Award tonight, I'm proud to present to... Everyone do a drum roll with your feet. Real or imagined? <laughs> pleased to be able to uh, call the winner of tonight. Um, it was a film that we all just immediately said yes, that's the winner. We loved it um, and I'd like to say a big congratulations to Moses for your film, Real and Imagine. Thank you guys, I don't know what to say. I'm really, really, really happy you guys enjoyed it. I think I really feel I portrayed the message, you know. 
Um, it, it's not really about winning, but it's really when you feel people appreciate what you're doing, that's when it gets up to you. Because I was talking to Vaughn and he told me, man, I felt like crying because by my time, I didn't have anyone to really do what I felt. But when you gave the film out, I felt this is really my story. And this makes me have the energy to go on. Well, all the films are good. Uh, more than just the films being good, though, I think um, ICE did a great job organising this event. It's a sense of community I got from coming here. It's something that I won't forget. So, well done to all you guys. Two favourites. The first one, I don't know who did that. And uh, the last one. Every single one of the filmmakers had such a great story. Fairfield Council is just really committed to whatever medium it takes to get people to get their voice out, to be heard, to share their message, and to learn real skills. You know, the filmmaking skills, it's not an easy thing to learn, but once you've, once you've mastered it, once you've learnt it, and you can continue to have opportunities to develop those skills, they're ones that connect you into the world. And, you know, we're really proud to be a part of helping people gain skills, helping people gain exposure, helping people gain a voice.